let's start with an example 5.1 of this chapter 5 okay that is the best example and detailed example for the design of shear okay in the beams a simply supported rectangular beam of size 300 by 525 millimeter that is a rectangular section having an effective depth of 450 millimeter we got this section after designing uh, from uh, in the in the bending against the bending moment okay now we are going to check for the uh, shear force carries a total factor load of 130 kilonewton per meter that is a factor load no need to apply the factor already factor load the clear span of the beam is 4.5 meter okay the effective span that is a 4.8 meter why that is shown in the figure okay i will uh, when i uh, explain this example uh, statement then i will go in the figure the fluctuating reinforcement consists of after designing against the bending moment that is 8 number 25 bar the diameter of one uh, 25 uh, diameter of number 25 uh, that is 25 millimeter and the area of in the SI system that is 510 millimeter square so 8 number 25 that will be uh, 4080 millimeter square 1 bar area 510 millimeter square then the 8 bar will be 4080 millimeter square and the 4 bars of which are curtailed and 4 are continuous okay as you know when the moment bending moment at the sports is minimum and we can curtail can curtail the bars the in this example use concrete grade uh, 20 and steel grade 280 megapascal using double double leg stirrups design the web reinforcement double leg uh, when you have seen uh, i show what is double leg okay here you see this section rectangular section one leg of shear the second leg of shear okay and that is one leg here one two three four leg okay that is the four leg section now i will again go back to the problem statement uh, example statement here using double legged stirrups design the web reinforcement means design the stirrups for this example using double leg stirrups okay the first of first of all here is the applied load is given factor load we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram okay here here that is the shear force and bending moment moment diagram the clear span that is 4.5 meter and the effective span means center of sport to the center of the sport that is 4.8 meter why 4.8 meter the sport that is that are uh, 300 millimeter 300 millimeter so half that will be 0.15 meter 0.15 meter from one side from other side the total effective span uh, will be 4.8 meter okay so after here the shear force and the bending moment diagram is drawn okay so for the design of shear we have to calculate the shear force at location d means from the face of the sport from the face of the sport to the location uh, at distance d we will calculate the applied shear and also we calculate the applied moment so first of all we will draw the journal shear value for the whole section similarly mx for the whole section then we will put the distance d only from the face of the sports 0.15 meter plus d then we get automatically from the face of the sport applied shear and the applied moment okay so how uh, i will calculate the applied shear uh, uh, and applied moment in the form of vx that is again uh, in many problems and many examples we have discussed uh, and we have also performed in the previous classes like in structure mechanics okay so here the same beam okay the same beam the effective span length is 4.8 meter and the load the factor load that is 130 kilonewton per meter 
the half load will be on the as a reaction on the left side and half load will be on the right side that will be omega l by 2 omega l by 2 omega is 130 and span length is 4.8 meter you will get the answer 312 kilonewton uh, as a reaction for the right and similarly to 312 kilonewton for the left side okay and when we cut this section here is a notation symbol okay uh, here I have uh, put the journal and cut this section at a distance x from the right spot okay here you can see 130 kilonewton per meter 312 kilonewton and distance x vx and mx that is that are symbols okay here uh, upward force vx plus and this one is also upward 312 plus and 3 130 kilonewton uh, loading upward acting downward so that's why minus 130 into x and that is udl so that's why multiplied with x minus 130 and when you will simplify you will get the answer vx is equal to 130 x minus 312 okay now for the moment you will take the moment at that point by these all forces mx that is moving clockwise that is mx minus mx at this point uh, 312 is uh, revolving anti-clockwise that is 312 into x okay then this one 130 that is acting clockwise so that's why minus okay 130 into x that will become load at the center and for the lever arm you will multiply with x by 2 and then you will close the uh, equation equal to 0 by simplifying you will get the answer mx is equal to 312x minus 6.5x squared okay 312x minus 6.5x squared now i will again go back here the author calculated the vx 312 minus 130x and mx 312x minus 65x squared mx we got the same 312x minus 65x squared but there is a uh, minus issue uh, in the vx that is 312 minus 130x why because author uh, have used the symbol differently in the vx that is used downward arrow then you will get the same as that of author okay so i have used the same principle that we use in the our in the previous semester classes so that's why i got the answer 130x minus uh, 312 when you will draw the shear force diagram you will get the same answers here why this answer is much uh, better and the good will you give the good result okay when you will the, uh, put the value then you will get the value in the negative okay so here you can see uh, from this end to this end that is positive shear from this end to the right that is a negative shear and here when you will put this value you will get the negative shear okay but uh, when we go for designing of shear it does not matter what is what is the value uh, either the value uh, is in the negative or in the positive we have to get the absolute value and then we go for the design so that's why it will not matter either by this equation you will get the shear and either by this equation the answer will be the same no issue will be there now first of all i will calculate the shear capacity okay Sh shear capacity formula is uh, shear strength formula shear strength formula for the concrete that is vc equal to uh, 0 0.16 lambda lambda is uh, uh, lightweight uh, lightweight coefficient for the concrete if you are using a normal weight concrete the gamma will be 1 and if you are using a, a lightweight or the heavyweight aggregate this lambda value will be changed uh, then multiply with under root fc prime concrete strength plus 17 into rho w rho w is the steel ratio uh, in your in this section the steel ratio that that is 8 number 25 bars you will divide the total area 8 uh, 
4080 millimeter square divided by BD then you will get the rho W and then you will multiply with uh, VU D M U into BWD less than equal to 0 0.29 lambda under root FC prime BWD all the parameters are known I will put one by one lambda is one because normal weight concrete under root FC prime 20 megapascal plus 17 uh, rho w that is 0 0.015 uh, vu that is applied shear 234 kilonewton where this uh, vu and mu is calculated at distance d from the inner spot okay from this spot uh, this inner edge at, at a distance d uh, we got the values 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 of vu and mu okay when you will put the values at x 0 0.15 plus 0 0.46 total 0 0.6 meter when you will put the values 0 0.6 meter in the v, vx formula and in the mx formula you will get at a distance d vu 234 kilonewton and mu uh, 163.8 kilonewton remember one point uh, rho w is half why because uh, in this in the question statement there there is mentioned that the four bars are curtailed and four uh, at the face of sport okay when the eight bars entering into the sport the four bars are curtailed so that's why at the sport the steel ratio will be less that is 4080 by 2 means 4 bars are curtailed total are 8 bars so that's why divided by 2 okay the answer of row w that is 0 0.015 so that's why 0 0.015 vu d divided by mu vu is applied shear d is effective depth mu is the moment the value is 0 0.643 you will put and you will get uh, here as it is bw that is uh, the beam that is 300 and the effective that depth that is 450 divided by 1000 okay to convert into kilonewton similarly 0 0.29 1 under root fc prime 300 450 divided by 1000 you got the answer same in the equation like less than or equal our answer is of concrete shared strength that is 118.7 kilonewton less than and equal to 175.1 kilonewton that is okay so we will pick the vc value means concrete shared strength value uh, that is 118.7 now we will multiply the concrete shear strength with the factor that is 0 0.75 then we will get the value concrete shear strength capacity okay design uh, shear strength okay of the of this beam that is 0 0.75 into 118.7 that we have calculated the concrete capacity the answer is 89.03 and then we divide this capacity by 2 because that is ACI requirement uh, we check the applied shear by dividing the concrete capacity by 2 okay so our applied shear value at a distance d that is 234 kilonewton applied shear is much more than the concrete shear capacity and the concrete shear strength okay means uh, applied shear is much more than the capacity of the concrete transfer transverse reinforcement is required means ties or stirrups must be provided okay so here vu that is applied shear capacity is 89.03 so uh, total applied shear uh, this will be resisted by the concrete capacity okay then 234 minus 89.03 144.97 .94 means this much uh, applied shear must be resisted by steel okay the this 89 will be resisted by concrete and the remaining from 234 minus 89 144.97 means you have to provide the steel in the form of ties or in the form of web reinforcement to resist the applied shear okay here now this i we we will get 144.97 okay that will be equal to uh, 5 vs then here 
वी यू माइनस फाइव वी वी सी डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव वी ओके इफ यू टेक फाइव ऑन द अदर साइड दैट विल बिकम फाइव वी एस एंड वाई कैलकुलेटिंग वी एस बिकॉज टू चेक द कंडीशन ओके इज इज इट अवर सेक्शन डेप्थ इज ओके फॉर द डिज़ाइन ऑफ शेयर सो दैट्स वाई वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द वी एस वी एस वी यू माइनस वी एस मीन्स द स्टील रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस सेक्शन टू रिजिस्ट द अप्लाइड शेयर हाउ मच वन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट नाइन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो आंसर इज़ वन नाइन्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो न्यूटन ओके सो हेयर इज़ अ चेक जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री अंडर रूट एफ सी प्राइम बी डब्ल्यू डी द आंसर इज़ वन नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट टू अवर वी एस इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस वैल्यू विथ टू यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स अंडर रूट एफ सी प्राइम बी डब्ल्यू डी इन द प्रीवियस डिस्कशन आई हैव डिस्कस इफ आवर वी एस इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स अंडर रूट एफ सी प्राइम ओके दैट इज़ वन नाइन्टी नाइन इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई विद टू दैट विल बिकम फोर हंड्रेड आवर वी एस इज लेस दैन फोर हंड्रेड सो अवर क्रॉस सेक्शनल डायमेंशन आर ओके एंड इफ आवर वी एस इज ग्रेटर दैन दिस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स दैन वी नीड टू डिवाइज आवर सेक्शन means we have to increase our section depth and again our vs is less than uh, 0.33 then we will follow the conditions for the spacing okay here some mistake vs is less than 0.33 193 is less than 199 and now we will uh, follow the spacing criteria accordingly uh, let's take the diameter of the bar uh, number 10 okay the area of the number 10 bar that is uh, 71 mm square so that is a two leg okay in the cross section there are two legs okay when we provide the tie okay to resist the diagonal cracks okay so there are two legs one leg and two legs so that's why Uh, the area of one bar of number ten that is seventy one millimeter square. So uh, in the one stirrup there are two legs which will resist the applied shear. That is that's why multiply with two seventy one multiply by two you will get the area of the leg that is double leg that will be one forty two millimeter square. So S max uh, will be uh, min uh, smallest of the following four. Uh, AV FY zero point three five BW. I will discuss. I will discuss detail. AV is the area of uh, ties, uh, uh, legs, ties, legs one and two. And if there are three leg ties, okay, then you will multiply with three times seventy one millimeters square. In this case, we are using two leg, so that's why multiply with two. AV is one forty two millimeter. FY the grade of our steel that is two eighty. Uh, down uh, on the in the denominator that is zero point three five into three hundred. So we got the answer three seventy nine millimeter. Second criteria is d by two that is four fifty divided by two. Uh, effective depth divided by two that is two to five millimeter. Third one that is general criteria given by this author, not by the court. That is general minimum three hundred millimeter. And the fourth criteria. That is five v a v f y d divided by v u minus five v c. Our v u minus five v c that is one forty four point nine seven, and uh, on the upper side that is zero point seven five a v one forty two grade of steel two eighty and effective depth that is four fifty. We got the ninety two. Now the minimum of all that is ninety two. Okay, so for safer side, we reduce two millimeter. So let's provide the spacing at ninety millimeter, center to center. Provide number ten bar at the spacing ninety millimeter. That will be okay. So our spacing should be greater or equal to eighty millimeter. That check is also okay. Now for the providing of stir up, uh, we provide the first tie at a distance uh, s by two. Okay, what it means? I will come back at point nine. Okay, uh, now I will go in the diagram. Number ten at ninety millimeter center to center. Here, 
here is the uh, spot uh, the first tear up or tie will be provided at a distance s by 2 our s is 90 millimeter 90 divided by 2 that will be 45 millimeter means first tie this tie okay this tie stir up you will provide you will provide at a distance 45 millimeter first second third four fifth similarly okay number 10 at 90 millimeter i will explain later what are these okay first of all i have ex i have explained is uh, in this smart top in this small topic that the first tear up should be provided at s by 2 our s is uh, 90 millimeter divided by 2 that will be 45 millimeter now when we will see the shear force and bending moment diagram there is one point okay and there uh, here is a shear force now you see shear force is maximum at this spot but it start reducing when it go to the midway of the beam so we can reduce the uh, area of steel uh, or the reduce the number of ties at the center and why because shear at the center is minimum so uh, again this author provided a guideline you can reduce the number of ties at a location ln by 5 okay here or ln by 4 first tear up that is number 10 at 90 millimeter is provided at s by 2 first tear up is placed at s by 2 45 millimeter distance from face of sport now at which location we can reduce the uh, area of ties okay or the number of stirrups that is location ln by 5 and ln by 4 ln by 5 uh, that is clear spacing our clear spacing that is 4500 millimeter divided by 5 answer is 900 millimeter and ln by 4 author have given the option you can choose either ln by 5 and ln by 4 okay now i will again calculate the shear force at a location uh, ln by 5 okay here when you take the ln 4.5 meter that is 4500 millimeter divided by 5 at the 900 millimeter from the face of sport i will again calculate the shear force and bending moment then at this section i will again calculate the capacity of this section and now uh, at this location into the inward okay in this region there is minimum shear i will provide a minimum number of stirrups okay for that uh, at ln by 5 okay here uh, 11 intervals of stirrups may be provided at a spacing of 90 millimeter 900 divided by 90 okay you can calculate simply uh, 900 divided by 90 okay 10 stirrups then the spacing will be 11 uh, 11 intervals of stirrups may be provided at a spacing of 90 millimeter the location of last stirrup is defined as me why that is 11 okay the first tear up will be at this location one okay then 90 millimeter second at the end there will be 11th okay now uh, to to calculate the location at the ln by 5 so x that will be location 0 0.15 plus 0 0.045 that is s by 2 plus 10 times 0 0.090 means 90 millimeter spacing i will again go back in the figure okay here uh, you can also take from the right that will be 0 0.15 meter okay uh, that is half of the sport and then the first tear up that is s by 2 and from the first tear up uh, you have provided the 10 uh, ties at 90 millimeter spacing so that's why 
that is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.045 plus 10 into 0 0.090 so your x location will be where you can reduce the number of ties 1.095 meter again uh, i will calculate the applied shear and movement at this location the same formula vx and mx that that i have derived already here vx formula and mx formula you you will calculate again uh, applied shear and movement at this location okay applied shear and movement at this location now again in the concrete capacity formula vu mu vu is 169 and mu 234 you will get the value of this and rho w here that will be 0 0.030 why that is two times because uh, curtailed uh, bars are curtailed at this port but away from this port there are eight bars so that's why 0 0.030 uh, uh, steel ratio the same formula only the difference is 0 0.030 and less than equal to again that is same okay so vc is in this after a distance of 1.095 your concrete capacity is 119.04 kilonewton again less than 175 okay again calculate the design uh, shear strength multiply with factor 0 0.75 okay divide by 2 to uh, check now your applied shear is 169 previously that is 234 okay shear is reduced so 169 again is greater than the concrete capacity okay your uh, again applied shear is greater than the concrete capacity means transfer reinforcement is needed now s max the smallest of the following okay here is the four criteria the these formulas i have already discussed so first answer is 379 second is 225 third 600 millimeter uh, that is again given by the author in general the fourth one uh, the, these three criteria are given in the code first second and third this uh, 306 millimeter are given uh, is given by this author okay so where shear is minimum no need so uh, this criteria is uh, more this spacing criteria is more so the minimum of all the four that is 167 millimeter it is rounded to 160 millimeter we can say say 160 millimeter what it means now uh, from onward okay for uh, uh, at the start we have provided 10 stirrups and now of number 10 at 90 millimeter center to center here that is uh, number 10 at 160 millimeter center to center how this seven number of stirrups are calculated here are 10 and how seven are calculated first of all the location is calculated where no tie reinforcement is needed how we can calculate the the location where no stirrups are needed to find the location after which stirrups are not required theoretically let vx equal to means the applied shear equal to half of the capacity so here is the uh, concrete capacity formula that is simplified formula approximate relation uh, vx 312 minus 130x equal to uh, 0 0.75 divided by 2 cap capacity divided by 2 into 0 0.17 under root fc prime bwd you got uh, after simplification you get the location of x where uh, you do not need any uh, any stirrups okay so x 2.1 meter from this phase of sport from this phase of sport 2.1 meter after 2.1 meter uh, at the middle there is no need of uh, tie reinforcement that's how uh, that is calculated in this section where no stirrups are required but uh, as a safety or the that is theoretically but we at least must provide this uh, minimum spacing 
okay so here continue a spacing of 150 millimeter for seven intervals means for the in this section that will be uh, first in the 900 millimeter that will be at 90 millimeter at this section 160 millimeter and in the remaining you will provide at 150 millimeter center to center so that's how we provide the stirrups in the beam against the applied shear and here the top reinforcement the bottom reinforcement is given from the pre uh, in the design problem okay we do not know how top and uh, bottom is calculated that is the question in the design of luxury against the bending and in this example we have did only the calculation of this the spacing and the diameter of tie okay here the section is uh, calculated in the in the region of 90 millimeter here so that's why number 10 add 90 millimeter center to center and most of the time there is a uh, die of bar is written and not the number of ties okay that is 7 and 10 for the uh, dia written the hash is written at the start number 10 at 90 millimeter center to center so that's all for today's lecture have a nice day